president even at this late time of the day listening to the debate i feel the need to say just three things first of all it is true that there is not any scientific evidence that gmos pose a hazard to human or animal health but as a previous speaker has mentioned who is now gone asbestos was not thought to be hazardous and yet we know today that it causes mesothelioma cancer of the lung and of course smoking was not thought to be hazardous to anybody until a few years ago and now of course we know that it causes cancer of the lungs pulmonary disease and coronary artery stenosis so it's better to be safe than sorry secondly mr alister and um, uh, mr kazaka had talked about the difference between uh, gmos in feed and animals that have been fed on gmos there is a large difference between the two there is a difference because in the feed, the GMO is, it, it is completely in a different state than the GMO that has been fed to the animal, has been digested by the animal, has been metabolized by the animal, and, and, and then is just probably present, but it isn't, in the meat of, of, the, of, of the animal in a completely different form than in the feed. Thank you.